We get a three, two, one. Every time I do that, I think of the iCarly theme. Besides the point. <laughs> uh, hi, welcome to another episode of Two Dudes Drinking Beer. Uh, you're probably wondering, damn, I can actually see these motherfuckers now. Well, that's what happens when you spend money and buy Even looking camera. at it on the screen, like, it's the, so nice. the movement of my hand on the screen right now, as opposed to, like, real life, I prefer the screen. It's so fluid. Well, it looks beautiful. Uh, here's to progress. Here's to progress. Second week, done. Gang shit. Not, well, not yet, but to, to be done. To us, it'll be done before you guys see it. Yeah. Uh, do you have a good week? It's only Wednesday, but like hump day. Have a good week. <clears throat> um, I think, yeah, no, I mean, it's really the small things, right? So we've been playing a lot of video games with the boys and, um, basically we, we played some smite and some video games and we played that for like three hours. Was it last night? Yes. Just last night, and it's like <clears throat> pretty pretty golden moment. And then I got my um, just today I got my EDD figured out, which is nice because for two months now I haven't been getting paid. Uh, I've been living off my savings account, but uh, I called today and it was a miracle because I called in and it usually puts you on this loop, and it says we have more callers than we can handle. Uh, we're going to tell you this inf inf informative message and then we're going to hang up goodbye. But I called and it didn't do any of that. It was just like all of our, all of our callers are busy or whatever they call All the wait until the next available agent. Yeah. 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 Uh, ne next agent is available. <clears throat> and, um, basically, yeah. So I, uh, I, I got that and I was super hopeful and I, I was on hold for like 50 minutes and then uh, some guy answered, and he was, like, just so quiet and so calm. You could tell he'd been <laughs> getting yelled at all fucking day long. Well, yeah, you'd have to imagine with <laughs> millions of people millions. in this state of California applying for unemployment, whether they're getting it or not. Mm -hmm. And then you have to deal with, like... And then getting yelled at because everyone just wants to yell at a human when something goes wrong. Yeah. All the Karens. All the Karens. Oh, I was talking about this with a friend. I was saying, what would you call a male Karen? That's a good question. Yeah, like I feel like it doesn't exist. Because you know how they have like the Kyles who punch the walls and yeah. drink Monster. Yeah, everyone agrees on the internet anyway. His girlfriend or his wife would be called a Brittany. Sure, I can. And, see I, that. and I strongly second okay. that. So I, what would you call a what would you call a Karen's Karen. husband or yeah or just because you know I don't know if Karen's a single person who just likes to re wreak havoc at well Karens always have kids so so there's got oh so there's got to be a husband or an ex husband could be fucking Kyle's the ex no that's uh I I feel like there's no perfect counterpart to a Karen well no she's the one who wears the pants obviously but you know like. If Karen were to get married, like just like generically, Kyle and Brittany, Karen and who, who would who would allow Karen to just act like a Karen? Some cuck. <laughs> the cuck named Carl. No, not not a Carl, but it's definitely a dude that's smaller. <laughs> a, a, a skinny, pale, suburban dad. I don't know. The, the kind who's like, when when Karen's yelling at the kids, she'll be like, "Go talk to your dad," and he's like, "Kids, listen to your mother." I can only think of. <laughs> I just want to say it's like it's because like the most generic name of just like John, Bob, John, Karen and John, Karen and Bob. What do you think, Internet? <clears throat> yeah, what is the f what is the male version of a Karen? Damn. Or the counterpart of a Karen. Asking the tough question. Two guys drinking beer. Two dudes drinking beer. Two, two dudes, dudes drinking beer. Drinking I keep beer. fucking guys. up the name. We're not guys. We're dudes. We're dudes. We're doing this for two weeks and you don't even know the fucking name. Uh, yep. 
well, <laughs> pretty soon it's going to be pretty hard to forget what the name is. Why? Because it's a surprise coming. Oh, shit. Did you get a neon sign? No. Then it's not that cool. It's actually pretty fucking cool. <clears throat> it's a present from my father. Your dad got us something for this? Yeah. He hasn't seen a single episode, but he still, he supports it. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, yeah, so where was I? I, um, I was kicking with his friend and, uh... You were talking about male Karens. <clears throat> talking about male Karens. Uh, she said it's Steve, and I laughed because that's my dad's name, but... Your dad's not a Karen. Mm. He's not, he's not like a Karen enabler. There's not... I haven't really seen too many like shitty, shitty guys Steve's. like that. Yeah, but I mean, there's like a. It's mainly just like for you don't, you don't imagine them being like a shitty person. You just imagine them being like a like a pushover. Karens aren't well, like no. The the husbands of a Karen would be a pushover. I'm thinking of like the male version, not the counterpart. Like if Karen mm-hmm. was a male, what would it? What would that name be? That's what I'm thinking. Carter. No. I disagree with that. I like that name. Okay, good for you. I don't think so. Um, Yeah, I just... I don't think that (coughs) exists. There is no... (laughs) Karen, if you're looking for love out there, there's no one on the other end of the spectrum for you. That's what we've just deduced today. Sorry, babe. If you're a Karen, uh, pour one out for the homies that you won't get. Karen, you are to be the cat lady. Sorry, girl. But anyway, we were, like, just hanging out, and um, there's, like, this uh, place you could do barbecues at the park, so we decided we're going to do, like, some uh, park barbecuing really soon. And then uh, did that, got my EDD flattened out. Turns out the case was uh, I applied for it too soon. And it asked you for a bunch of information, and the information it asked me for was like, were you too sick or injured to work? And I said, no, because that's the goddamn truth. I wasn't too sick or too injured, but there was a pandemic. And when I talked to the guy, he was like, yeah, well, it wasn't set to be um, for a pandemic. This is for people who were just out of work. So they updated it. To where the answers answer set I said because my roommate said it just as I did, but uh, the answer set uh, I chose disqualified me. But it was like two days before they did the update or whatever to the uh, to the questions. So I just applied two days early, and I, I kept it honest. And uh, because of that, it delayed everything by two months. Probably another month before I get all the money that I'm owed, but they're still gonna get all of it. Yeah, I'm still gonna get all of it, but it's it's just gonna take a while to get processed and you know all that stuff because it's all uh, through the government. Mm-hmm. But and the government's slow as shit. Yes, it is. But it's it's been a good week aside from that. Just it's video good. games, some barbecues on the way, and then some money on the way. Nice. How about you? Uh, well. Only th- really thing going for me right now is uh, work is cool. I tested out that key; it works. I got to use it today on the liftomatic. Yeah, the wave, the work assist vehicle, and then um, I've been eating something super fucking good lately for like all my meals. Um, think of it as like a food hack. Remember when I told you to put the tuna fish in the mac and cheese? Yes, that's like one of the best food hacks ever, right? Well. Yes, but also with potato chips. You need to have some crunchy, some salty. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Uh, well, it's not necessary. It's a preference thing. <coughs> but well, that's my so, fucking preference. You know those frozen burrito, like those frozen Tina burritos that cost like seventy cents. I love where this is going. But uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Of course, of course. So what I've been doing is I've been heating two of those up, preferably different ones, like the beef and bean. You're doing like a McGangbang for the burritos no but do you know what a wet burrito is yeah yeah do you know what an enchirito is from taco bell i don't so the enchirito was their bean and cheese burrito in the nachos bel grande dish like that black circular dish you know what i'm talking about Mm -hmm. covered in their mild sauce and cheese on top 
Shouts out to uh, Taco Bell's sauce handing outage because I've never gone to a Taco Bell. They always just give you handfuls, so they definitely know what's going on. Thank you, Taco Bell. Keep it real. So essentially what I've been making is wet burritos for like all my meals throughout the day. So all you need is any kind of frozen burrito, uh, red or green enchilada sauce. I prefer green, but I'm out of green right now, so I've been using red. And so you, you heat them, you heat the burritos up like almost before they're done, take them out, uh, pour the enchilada sauce on them and then sprinkle them with cheese, throw it back in to melt the cheese. And they're so, (laughs) it's so fucking good. This is that gourmet shit. Right? It's, it's a food hack. TM food hack. This is also kind of one thing that kind of bugs me about you is how you microwave Hot Pockets. The way you microwave stuff, you because super they're still frozen. The way, you, yeah, the the way you microwave stuff is so specific. Like, t- tell me the process of you microwaving food, and then I'll critique it. Okay, so I'll use the hot pocket as an example. So how I make a hot pocket is they say cook it for two minutes and let it cool off. I say fuck that. I cook it for forty five seconds. Um, most of the sometimes without the sleeve. Most times with it, it's like it a, feels better without the sleeve. It's like, <laughs> it's like sounds for the people eighteen and over. It's like eight times out of ten, I cook it with the with the sleeve, and I just throw it directly on the tray in the microwave. I don't use a plate, and I Whew. cook it so the ends are warm, but the 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 middle is still kind of cold, and I let it sit for a little bit after the forty five seconds. And then I take it, and I'm I'm good to go. It's some a very very small amount of ice still in the middle, but I like to eat my food where it's thoroughly cool, so I can eat it fast. I don't care if it's hot and enjoyable. I'd rather get it in my system so I can have the energy now. That's just so gross to me, dude. But. <clears throat> I mean, I get it. I, I kind of get it, right? Because when I first asked you, you told me you didn't do it all the way because if you ever cooked a Hot Pocket or a corn dog or basically anything in the microwave, you see it peeling and kind of stripping and, you know, the guts will fall out. That's what you told me the first time uh, why you did it. You are like, I don't like it when it falls apart. It's gross. And I was like, so you'd rather have it uncooked? And you're like, as long as it's edible, uh, I don't care. Well, and, it's not raw. And then... And then I found out his dark secret, the way he eats raviolis and SpaghettiOs. You don't have to cook them. They're He's a psychopath. SpaghettiOs and Chef Boyardee raviolis are literally made for homeless <sighs> this people. This makes me burp so bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck says that? I do. <laughs> It's made for homeless people. <laughs> it's made. They just Ralph's is just like this is the spaghetti section for the hobos. Don't don't let the kids near it. Yeah, you know the one thing kids love to eat, Chef Boy OD? Hobo juice with uh, some meat blankets. That's Wait. all it is. Okay, hear me out. Oh, I'm all ears right now. How often do you? Never. I never eat no, spaghetti no, 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 or no. Chef Boy OD because I'm not a kid. Let me finish. And apparently, I'm not homeless. Let me finish. How often are you outside oh, walking funny. around and you have a can opener on, can opener on you? Never, right? Is this the predicament? This is this is the this how is many the mystery. Homeless people, this is the mystery that Chef Boyardee solved. How many homeless people do you think have a can opener? You think they answer the question. Three out of five. Do you think three out of five homeless people? I think people three have out a- of five homeless people have a can opener. I think that's way too high. I would say one there's out a of, lot of homeless people who have cars and houses that we don't know about. Why not a can opener? I would say one out of twenty. The living on the street, mm. homeless people. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure even the ones in the gutter have a can opener because, as you so clearly pointed out, they probably have to rely on canned food. Point being, with the easy pull tabs, same as like tuna cans, you eat that shit out. I eat that shit out of the can. Canned tuna, uh, good. Drain the water, perfect. 
duh. <laughs> can you, chick, can if you me? if you sat here and told me, Chef Boyardee, I, 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 I microwave my hot pockets for forty five seconds. Chef Boyardee is solving the homeless problem, and I eat tuna without draining the water. <laughs> this would be the last podcast. I swear to God, <laughs> I, I brought this up just because it it was funny, but like. <laughs> I'm reminded of why I think you're cre- crazy. I have a lot of hot takes. No oh, shit. A um, lot of food hacks. Food hacks. Food hacks with Josh. Uh, definitely, you don't have to heat up your uh, raviolis. And you don't have to be homeless to enjoy them either. You don't, but I like to think I am homeless when I eat them because <laughs> I'm just fucking... eating them cold and depressed <laughs> just, out of a can. You, you just spark up a fire in, in the local park, put the... Put the can of raviolis on some twigs as it roasts over an open fire. Living the dream. It's like the super depressed meal. Because it's all just, <laughs> it's sad all around. The guy. I did it at work. I, you know what? Some homeless people do it anywhere because that's where their home is. Yeah. The guy making those nachos in the microwave with the, the sad music in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Some memes are just so ahead of their time. I don't even want to say anything because it's going to spoil it. But basically, it's like a how-to video of make nachos at home. And it's like this probably 60-year-old dude making nachos with a microwave and all canned meat and cheese. And it's the saddest thing you've ever seen. It's for like a college broadcast, too, or something. He's just trying to get his degree in AV. Right. Have you seen the... It's a meme now, but, like, there's this dude who, like, he didn't have... His father left him at 12, and he started a YouTube channel called, like, Dad, How Do I? Where he... (laughs) Where he... He makes videos, like, how to fix your toilet, how to, like... How to change a tire. At 12? No, like, he's an adult now. Oh, I was like, that's the saddest shit ever. (laughs) Imagine there's a 12-year-old being like, Dad? (laughs) Coming full circle, ready? How do I open up a can of Chef Boyardee raviolis? You pull the tab back. Thanks, Dad. But no, he makes these videos, like these instructional videos for other kids who don't have dads or like the father figure. <laughs> How old is he now? Uh, I want to say he's like in his 40s. Late Jesus, 30s. that's even more sad. He's just making instructional videos. It's super wholesome. I he's, mean, granted, like, I haven't you, seen it. It's but like, how do you tie a tie? It just sounds super sad. I think it's super nice. No, I think it's great, but it's like to think that someone's dad left them and it's triggered this whole YouTube channel. I don't know. It's super popular now. It's a meme. I don't know. Uh, All right. I don't think I've ever had PBR before. Yeah, I was going to say today we're drinking uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Um, I've only had it a few times. It's a great tailgate beer. Uh, This is the first beer I ever shotgunned. Shout out to David. Super easy to drink. Super drinkable. It's got an okay taste. Tastes like nothing. Yeah. It's uh, super... Light. Yeah. It's uh, it's really okay. I, I'd give it a really okay. I'm going to start... I'm probably going to order this next time the bar's open now because a lot of bars will do PBR in a tall boy uh, for like $3, so... Super cheap. Yeah. Now that I know that that's a thing, I might have to, uh, you know... It also like doesn't have a color... Well, I feel like most beer doesn't have a like it, it, it's, it's kind like of yellowy bud white bud light color like bud light's pretty yellow. No, in the can it looks like nothing. It just looks like clear you want to gargle water. it and I could I could take a look at it what it looks like. Oh, there's you, a cup right there. I don't want to. I don't want to waste beer. <sighs> Fair enough. It it's like um. I feel like this is the beer my grandpa would drink. It's an old person beer. It is. It's a, it's it's a an, good old person. beer It's an for old sure. person beer or a country fuck beer. Yeah. Because how often do things out here get blue ribbons? Besides children, that's gotta be it. The, the children's blue science ribbon. fairs mm-hmm. and state fairs. When you think about it, the blue ribbons probably from like pumpkin patches and those like give it to the world's fattest pig. Yeah, the fat pig contest. Like that's gotta be what it's stemming from. It's like blue ribbon. For the country folk and the elder folk, those people who got blue ribbons for winning the turkey trot and all that shit. The fuck is a turkey trot? 
you never had a turkey trot? A turkey trot's like, um, basically, I, th- I just want to told you this. It's like, um, back in elementary school in Arizona, they would do a turkey trot. And it'd be basically, you. it'd be everyone of the grades, like, one through four or whatever. And basically, all those kids would run a race, and the first place kid in each class would bring, like, a turkey home. Like, the school would pay for their turkey dinner for their Thanksgiving. Well, that's dope. That's super nice. Yeah. And I think second place won, like, stuff to, like, Blockbuster and stuff. Oh, and, lame. Yeah. But, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. I always wanted to... Uh, uh, win it and bring home the turkey, but uh, did you ever win? No, You're I was never. I was never fast enough. I remember the girl who always beat me. Her name was Jennifer. You got beat by a girl, mm-hmm. loser. Yeah, but um, her name was Jennifer, and she was like really tall for our age and like super fast in track. So, <clears throat> does that ever motivate you to do better in athletics? Clearly not. Nice. You got beat by a girl and Clear. you just gave up. As soon as I got beat by a girl, I was like, you know what? I just want to drink Pabst Blue Ribbon and eat, record a podcast. Eat raviolis out of a can. And eat raviolis out of a can. <laughs> That's the future, man. As soon as I got beat by a girl, my ego crushed. Shattered. Guess who's guess who's getting uh, Chef Boyardee and Pabst Blue for the rest of their life? This guy. Me. That guy. This guy. But that's kind of just where life took me, you know? <coughs> losing races, getting birds. What? <laughs> losing races and getting birds. Oh, well, I was chasing the bird. Well, you didn't get the bird. I never you lost the, the race, but other kids got birds. Other kids got the birds. Never you know, mean. I just remember in elementary school, there is a few things I remember from elementary school. Um, mainly the Halloween parades. Those were dope. Mm-hmm. And um, it stopped in like, f- well, granted, I left this elementary school in fifth grade because uh, they moved. But like there was this yearly, like almost like fucking triathlon. It was like all these different, it was like, it was the whole school, school, like the whole grade. And we'd like, we'd compete. It was almost like the fucking Olympics. Did you win a turkey at the end of it? No. That whatever you're about to describe is basically the turkey trot. But go ahead. That's dope. But like we just competed for like <coughs> ribbons. Blue ribbons? They were all colors. They were the, all colors? Yeah. It was like purple, red. Rainbow ribbons? Orange, green, yellow. Based on the different like places. Gotcha. But like it was just a whole bunch of different like athletic competitions. Almost like a triathlon. But it was more than three. So. Okay. I don't want to say decathlon because I don't know what that means. But I it just, just feels right. I just know academic decathlon <clears throat> and decathlon doesn't sound right. It's probably like a, well, decathlon's probably like, okay, so a triathlon is two, is three things. A decathlon is probably two things. And if it's an academic decathlon, it's probably two measures of intelligence, winner take all. So I feel like it's not right. <clears throat> Either way. I'm obviously not educated in yeah, any of that. You couldn't even win a turkey. <laughs> I couldn't even win a fucking foot race, so. Can't even win a race. What makes you think you paid attention? I didn't. We just went over in the last episode. You were in special ed classes all, all the time. I was. Were those fun? No. <laughs> they were not. Um, my brother was in some. <clears throat> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> fun, fun, fun fact about my special ed classes is, uh, uh, I remember the first time I cheated in class, <clears throat> and um, this kid. So basically, everyone in a class like that has some sort of tick, or is just a slow learner. A little bit retarded. A little retarded. And I sat next to this kid, and I remember. Uh, I ended up getting lost. We were just taking notes. And I kept trying to ask him questions. I was like, hey, what's this? And he kept, shh, shh. He kept shushing me. And I was like, man, this kid's a fucking dick. And I was like, bro, really? Like, can I just see your notes? Shh, shh. Just kept shushing me. 
And basically what that did was it caused such a big scene that the teacher got pissed off and decided to give us a pop quiz right motherfucking there. And, uh, the first thing he said was, I was like, I was like saying, I was like, bro, I gotta, I don't know what this test is. I was trying to get your notes. Like what? Can I just look at it before the test, please? And he goes, shh. And he's like, just, just shushing me. And I'm like, man, fuck this guy. He had all the notes there, and I tried reading his notes, and he covered it up. He put it, put them on the floor, and I was like, all right, fuck this. I'm just going to cheat off this guy, because obviously he knows what he's doing. And we took the test, and we, we graded it right then and there. We handed it forward. We, we shuffled them around, and I ended up uh, getting his test, and uh, my test ended up across the room. No one, I, I, get, I, get, I got all the answers he did. And uh, as I'm grading his test, he's looking over my shoulder, be like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, I thought I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing damn well, I got the same answer, and we both ended up failing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so so it's, it's one of those instances where uh, if someone's pissing you off, you should just let it roll off your back, because uh, cheating off them is not going to get you any further. Do you ever know like the feeling... Of like when you're grading, you're peer grading your tests, like right after the, you're oh taken, shit. and then someone is like, "What if they wrote this?" or like, "What if they answered this?" Mm-hmm. And like, you know, they have your paper. Yeah, and they the, keep asking this mm-hmm. fucking question what over if, and over. What if? What if instead of blue they said light blue? Does that count as the correct answer? They're like, "Yes, I suppose the sky could be blue and or light blue." Give them points. <laughs> Fuck those people. Give me the homie points. Seriously, dude. Just be chill. To all the third graders watching this, just be chill. <coughs> I would love to go back to grade school. Shit was fun. Shit was easy. I remember... It's not even like a pleasant memory, but there was this one kid. He was deaf. I think his name was Tyler. I don't remember. But he always tried to fight everyone. Like he was just I feel like that's a uh, pissed off deaf kid who would always get in trouble and just tried to fight everyone. <laughs> you, could you imagine how that would go? Tyler, knock it off! What? <laughs> Tyler, I said stop. What? He had hearing aids. Like he could hear, but like not very well. Yeah. And like all the teachers had like this microphone system that like he <laughs> he would give to them. They'd set up and then just he'd take it, it back. Yeah, and it would go it into would his arm. Play in his ear. No, no. It's like an IEM. Yeah, that's crazy. In ear monitor. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anything else cool going on? Any news? I don't watch the news. I try not to. I try not to, too. Um, the most upsetting thing that happened, I think it was yesterday as well. Pfft. Find the Joe Rogan podcast is going. Uh, exclusively to Spotify. You think that's uh, disappointing? I think it's huge. <clears throat> no doubt it's huge. I just don't like it because I'm not a fan of Spotify. Oh, no. And the idea of me having to re-down Sp- re-download Spotify just for his podcast is a pain in the ass. Here's the thing. You don't have to download it because you can play it on the on a web browser. Okay. Bang. On there's a like a on through Spotify, through Spotify, Spotify, Spotify web player. You don't have to download anything. Problem solved. Because that was my only issue. I was like, I don't want to download it because I have a Spotify account, but I also have Apple Music, so it's like I don't want Apple Music's way better. Yeah, but I don't want both of them. <clears throat> right. And I was thinking about this earlier too. I was like, damn, like Spotify is like an entitled ass computer program. Because it gets downloaded onto your computer, and it just decides, like, when your computer starts up, so am I. I turn that off. Like, I'm just, I'm the audio software program. Well, I'm all you need, and it just has all these settings that are super intrusive, and I hate it. To be fair, the dude who created, or helped <laughs> create Spotify, also created Napster. And helped f- create Facebook. I think I'm thinking of a different dude. Nope. 
I seen the social media. What's well, the the I, social network? I don't movie. think the Napster guy created. We're Facebook. gonna we're gonna watch the social network after this, and you're gonna find out that you're wrong in 4K. We're gonna watch it right now. <laughs> Welcome back. We watched the whole movie. Uh, I don't remember anything. <laughs> it's almost like we didn't watch it. Wow, that's amazing. I don't remember it either. Through the power of editing. <laughs> No, we didn't actually leave. If you're really good, you can not notice a cut. Uh, it may have been invisible. There's a one frame long cut. You would still be able to see it. <clears throat> I didn't see it. What? Regardless, um, I don't think the Napster guy... I literally watched a documentary of Napster. In my did Mas- you watch the documentary on Facebook? Because that's what I'm referring to. No. <clears throat> it well, was specifically about Napster. All right. Well, yeah. And basically, our the communications good. class. <clears throat> That's it. Oh. Well, basically, the guy who created Napster uh, helped get Facebook off the ground because in college, Mark Zuckerberg called it the Facebook, and there's that big claim to fame scene where he's like. He did the most. He did the most helpful thing he could have for the brand, and then he's like, "Drop the the, just Facebook," and they did that, and that's what kind of made it hip. Well, yeah, anything with the in it is just not good. The who, who, who? Trash. Uh, the remember Foo Fighters, the Police. They're all garbage musicians. <laughs> Case in point. Do you the remember the Beatles? Trash. Literally the worst. Worst boy band ever. NSYNC is way better. The NSYNC. It's just NSYNC. See, that's why it works better. Exactly. Because there's no the. That's why they're objectively better. Do you remember when that brief period of time when like all of U2's discography was put onto every iPhone and iPod? Yeah, it just didn't even buy you a drink first. It was just there. Just slid right in. As soon as you plugged in your phone to iTunes... On your computer, it was just fucking there, and nobody asked for it. How it happened, who knows? You cut a deal with Apple, man. Fuck you. Steve Jobs would have never let that happen. Fuck Bono. How did Steve Jobs die again? Pancreatic cancer. Lit. You don't need a pancreas anyway. Just cut that shit out. It it might not have been pancreatic cancer. It mm-hmm. might have been. It could have uh, spread. Huh? It could have spread. Yeah, it, it, it might have been something else, but it was definitely a, a form of cancer. Trash. <clears throat> yeah. There's also another really good movie about um, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Apparently they knew each other coming up in the game. <clears throat> I believe it. And um, that's why they're so, like, such, like, classic rivals. It's called The Silicon Valley. I highly recommend it. It's... It's also a show. It's a great movie. It's it's told from a great perspective. And uh, it really is super informational. So uh, I, I, I definitely recommend that and The Social Network. Both really good movies. I feel like The Social Network was really slow and boring, even though I haven't seen it. I feel like they're... You're dumb. Okay, so I, I also <laughs> thought it was depressing. A depressing... It was like, isn't it a sad movie? No. Oh. Well, never mind. I don't... I know You're so dumb. I know nothing about it. I just know I don't like it. You I'm just know slow. you feel a way about it, and yes. that's it? Yes. You're allowed to have an opinion on something you don't know anything about. Sure, but you just sound dumb. So, I don't fucking care. I literally don't care what other people think about me. That's the whole Damn. meaning behind the tattoo. Stay sick. That's the whole meaning of stay sick. My tattoo, the flag I have. Is it still hanging up? Yeah, of course. Cool. I sleep under my flag. <laughs> As a blanket. Well, no, it's hanging above me. I sleep under it. Uh, did you have anything you wanted to bring up, talk about? No, but I have something I want to give you. And oh, I, shit. I know you don't like gifts. And I'm going to have another gift for you very soon. And another one after that. Boo. Because... Bro. <laughs> boo. Boo. <laughs> oh, boo. You didn't have to, Boo. <clears throat> Because I know you're never going to do it for yourself. You bought me dryer sheets. No, but I need some dryer sheets. That'll be another gift. <laughs> Put that on the list. That's gift number four. <clears throat> no, so I want to I give you this. Oh, shit. It's happening right now? Yeah. 
I want to give you my old camera. Oh, fuck, really? Yeah. Because the camera you currently have sucks nuts and requires actual AA batteries, which is Damn, garbage. Bro. So I want to give you my old camera. You Thank can, you. You can do whatever you want with that. I'll give you all the lenses I have. Can it's I ask free. why? Is it just like a you don't need it I kind of thing? I have no or? purpose for it. Damn, bro, that's awesome. I have no need. Pick up photography. Well, I wanted to do like uh, Man, vlogging. Man, autofocus is on. I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't. shit. Is it? My bad. Yeah. It's a little switch on the lens. I'll leave it uh, yeah. right there for now. You'll ruin the servo. Thanks, man. That's fucking cool. I remember buying this at uh, Best Buy with you. Is this the this the same one? I bought it online. Oh. What about the one we bought? We didn't buy a camera in person. Didn't we? Nope. We've looked at cameras in person. Oh, but you bought it online? Yeah. Bought it on Amazon, pretty sure. Well, thanks, man. Fuck. That's awesome. I, um... I definitely always wanted to, uh, <clears throat> not always, I guess, but I want to start posting videos of me, like, making beats and producing and maybe some mixing videos and mastering videos, and that's why I started bringing out that old camera that you saw that looks like Dick, and, uh... It doesn't even shoot in HD. No, it shoots in, like, 720. Yeah. I mean, it is <coughs> HD, but it's not but it's like But it's not, it's not formatted for, like, uh, 1080, it's not formatted properly. Well, 720p technically is HD. It's just not full HD. Gotcha. Either way, thank you. That's super cool, man. Of course. And, uh, holy shit. This shoots good photos. Just this one's better. Yeah, no, and I can't wait to see what this even looks like. It's it's crazy, too, because that's so small, and it's like all... I mean, this is all digital, too, right? Yeah. So... It's a digital camera. Yeah. It's crazy. Damn, bro. Thank you. You're welcome. Tune in next week to see what the next gift is. <laughs> it's Christmas every day in this motherfucker. <laughs> every day in this bitch. Damn, uh, that's cool. I want to make t-shirts. For two dudes? Yeah, two dudes. With our with our logo. With our super dope logo? Yeah. I'm sure we can do that. Get ourselves some Definitely t-shirts. Definitely not like the CGMP t-shirts, though. No. No text on the back. No. That's not necessary. Well, and if only you listened to me the first time, they would. St- I would still have mine. That's the reason you threw it out. I threw it out because it didn't fit. But also, that T-shirt, the feeling was kind of garbage. It was gross. The 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 quality has a, severely gone down. It's a very low quality. It's been, t-shirt. It's been a, well. It's been over years. I remember. I remember it looked good when we first got them printed. Super good. Um, but like, yeah, just a black shirt with the black logo, and it's just two dudes drinking beer. Yeah, no, I whether think it be on the front or back or both. Yeah. I think just the front. I would put it on the back. Whatever you want to do, man. I'll wear it. <laughs> of course you will. That's two dudes drinking beer for you. Two dudes drinking beer. I like how when I want to, like, quote unquote, look at the camera, I'm looking at the right side of the big TV. And I know that's not where it is. So then I keep looking. I look at the camera. I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, that's where you're used to the screen capture being, right? Kind of. It's a little bit down from where I'm looking, but I'm just looking at, like, right in between the two monitors. Hmm. That does kind of seem like a natural place to put a camera or something, right? Like, That's where my webcam is, kind of. Yeah. But even then, like, that's too far. I think it's just because that's the way I'm facing and just looking a little bit to the right. Yeah. Like, my body is pointed towards the printer. And just to turn a little bit to the right Blah. would be where I, the camera would be. Mm-hmm. But no, it's right there. And even then, I'm looking at the viewfinder. So I'm saying it's right there, but I'm still not looking directly at the camera. Now I am. Hello. Hello. You can see all of my flaws now. Which right here, I have a little red spot on my face. It's been there. It's not like a purple spot. Like a dark brown spot. It looks purple. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> You been beating yourself up again? Yeah. It's rough. I don't know. <laughs> Hard times. Just got to get your I shit back remember, together. Well, I still have your sunglasses. <clears throat> I don't know if you saw the last episode or listened. Uh, but I think, pretty sure they're yours. Still have them. Please come get them, otherwise they're mine. We do have a policy in this house. If you leave something here for three weeks, it becomes mine. Um... 
You won't get them back. If they're here for two more weeks, um, Trish. please take them. I don't want them. How did the um, <clears throat> episodes break down on Spreaker or Spreaker or Spreaker? Spreaker still doesn't have analytics. There's like, on Spotify, there's like 12 listeners and YouTube's killing it. Well, not like killing it, but like the first one has like 70 views. Second one really? Has like, yeah. Jesus, that's awesome. The second one has like 20. The third one has like <laughs> five. I mean, that was when I checked yesterday when it was okay. uploaded. So there could be more today. Facebook, we have like 54 likes. Dope. Yeah. I made a post for things for 50. I didn't see that. Yeah. I've, I've only got the... Uh, you don't go on social media. I've only got the so, uh, social media for the Instagram. But... You could log in on Facebook. You're an admin on the page. Oh, really? Yes. Now I know. Yeah, I, n- I never really uh, spend too long on Facebook. No one does. And those who do are pretty sad. Yeah. Because there's literally nothing on Facebook. Not anymore. It's just garbage. <clears throat> I think I was telling my friend a few days ago, too, like, the only reason you have Facebook is to, like, link your gaming accounts. Like, I've got games on my phone that if you just log in through Facebook, it'll transfer the data to another phone if you just log in through your phone, which is super useful. But I don't see why they couldn't do it through just, like, your Gmail account or something. Also for birthdays? Yeah, birthdays. That's about it. And realistically, you could put, you can take your, uh, Facebook can access your contacts and download all of their birthdays and put them into your calendar. I think I have that already. Yeah. I have it turned most, off. Most people do. I have it turned off though, because every day is basically someone's birthday. Cause we've got like 500 friends that I don't even. Are there 365 birthdays or are there 7 billion birthdays? There are 365 birth- birthdays. I've thought about this clearly. There are seven million people. Billion. Seven billion. Thank you. Plus seven. Bi- seven. Plus. There's there's a lot of fucking people, and they all have birthdays, but there is only three hundred and sixty five different birthdays to be had by those people. You heard it here first. We're taking stances. There's three hundred and sixty five. I think it's like point two four. Uh, days of birth. Oh, yeah, because the, uh, the fucking factor in the leap, leap year, year, which is fucking stupid. <laughs> it shouldn't even be a thing. Get rid of it. Get rid of the leap year. Let's get rid of the entire 12 month calendar system. Clearly, the Mayans were right. The world is ending. And the dyslexic Mayan who wrote 2012 instead of 2021? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, could you imagine? Next year. What if they just fucking mis, um, translated the script or whatever? Oh, my God. They just fucking miscalculated. That's a lens cap. I broke it already. <laughs> That's a lens cap. I'm sorry. You're fine. It's not mine anymore. <laughs> you broke your own shit. We'll get it it's later. It's gone forever. We'll get it later. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> cool. I like that desktop background a lot more than the triangle. Every t- every day I look at it. It's sick. It's super bright. I like the um, colors. For those who can't see it, because I'm not going to show you either, because it's a little... I'm not embarrassed by it, but you know. If you know, you know. It's from a more vulnerable side of mine. <coughs> it's... Suzuki Uchiha, Sasuke Uchiha. Suzuki, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Suzuki, you better Ma- come correct. <laughs> Suzuki Yamaha Mitsubishi, uh, <laughs> charging up his Chidori from the first series, and Chidori means thousand bird chirps. Chirp. So, because it sounds like a lot of birds chirping. Um, but yeah, it's Sasuke Uchiha with his Sharingan activated, and he's charging up a. A Chidori slash Lightning Blade. But they're two different things. Even though they're almost the same attack, or same Jutsu, rather, the the, the, the Raikiri and the Chidori are very similar, but they're technically different. Can you tell me how they're different? I just know they're named different things, and they're called different things. Because the Chidori, the Thousand Bird Chirping. Thousand Birds Chirping. That's what it translates to? That's what it translates to? Roughly translates to. I may be incorrect. <coughs> I don't know Japanese. Did you know Sakura said it before. means cherry blossom? Yeah, that's why her hair is pink. I just found that out. Pretty sure I told you that. 
Well, you've said it to me twice. And I just found it out. So, Lightning Blade, or Raya Kiri. Mariah Carey? Yes. Light, <laughs> Lightning Blade. Because you imagine, speaking of mistranslations, what if they mistranslated that to the Mariah Carey? <coughs> the Lightning Blade, uh, or Rai Kiri. Right. Raichu. Yes. Or they're in the Chidori are both lightning style jutsus in the Naruto universe where their chakra is focused in the hand in the form of lightning and stabbed through a vital point in the target. Uh, Shouts out to um, They function in the Kikashi. same way. They're just called different things. Uh. And the lightning blade doesn't make noise as loud as the Chidori. So they're mm-hmm. kind of the same thing. I think, but they're different things at the same time. I'm not sure. I just want more Boruto to come out. Facts. Hurry that shit up. Well, we need Corona to stop. But technically, it's been suspended indefinitely until... I, what the fuck? You don't say that? <laughs> until this shit blows over. That's Every, not suspended indefinitely, though. Everything's been suspended indefinitely. All the Funimation animes, <laughs> One Piece that's been going on for like 1,200 episodes... Since like 1998 has been suspended indefinitely, um, but the word but the word indefinitely means forever, not until uh, coronavirus passes. It, One Piece will come back. They've made too much money, and they're not even done telling the story. So <laughs> halfway through, not even halfway. I don't know. They have. They, I don't think they have an end in mind for it. I mean, I wouldn't. That's the great. That's the thing about animes that I, I think is great is because you don't need to end it, which is why the ending of Naruto was such a bummer. Because well, like Kishimoto had the ending of Naruto in mind. That's the the creator. Did he really? Yeah. I mean, he it, knew it ma- how he wanted to end it. I mean, it makes sense, but because, um, spoiler alerts, it makes sense. It's because- been out for twenty years. It's not a spoiler anymore. <laughs> Well, Shippuden has it, but well, it makes sense in this in the in the sense of like Kakashi and Obito, because like that makes it a really good story. The fact that he's the kind of guy behind it all, oh, okay, and like how he does like the uh, jutsu where he's like uh, untouchable because he's going through the, the kamui, the kamui. So, <clears throat> shit like that's super cool. That's like my favorite part of the story, and then. You know, just seeing how that all kind of unfolded. Like, it makes sense that they had that, at least an idea of that. But, like, filling out the uh, story in between is is great. Because that's what made it a good story. Because you get to see the trials and tribulations that led to that. All the adversity. Yeah. Well, Naruto's a good show. Um, one, of the, one of the greats. One of my favorites. I'm really surprised it hasn't turned off yet. I feel like it's been more than 30 minutes. I was going to say, it feels like it's been an hour. Hasn't Shit, we don't even need, we don't even, I don't know. <laughs> Did you forget to hit record? Because I will murder you. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a red dot right on your forearm, which means recording. Yeah, right here. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We might have to do this again. Or just fuck the video. <laughs> it's going to be just audio. Ro- I don't know how to do this again. I don't know how to take two takes. We could just play it on the speakers and then just record us and mime it. Yeah, that wouldn't just... It'll be a, a dubbed kung fu movie. <sighs> be the worst. I'd just be here be like... <laughs> the whole time. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. watermelon, watermelon That's what watermelon. Miley Cyrus said to mimic words. Watermelon. 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 We're just lipsing, <laughs> lipping watermelon for that brief period of silence for our audio listeners. Watermelon. I'm out of stuff to say. Well, then. <laughs> what, what, what are we at time wise? I know you wanted to call it a little. It looks like 52 minutes. 53. Well, it'll be like 52 after we cut the beginning down. Mm. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being here through our second full week of podcasts. Let us know what you think of the new camera and what I should do with this camera. 
Take pictures. No oh, shit. Use the auto function. It's a lot easier. He said, you're not good enough to understand this. I don't even fucking understand the other shit. Use portrait mode and auto mode. That's it. Yeah. I'll play around with it. Don't I'm sport mode. super happy. Well, yeah, that's... Throw that bitch in sport. <laughs> Motor sport. <clears throat> Fuck you, Quavo. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, we got a short one for you today. Um, it's Thursday, the end of the work week almost. Everyone though, Even though everyone's working from home, it doesn't matter. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I'm getting paid now, bitch. Some good for you. Some people don't even have that. I know. Some people still have their whole jobs. Some people are homeless eating Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Shit, ain't that the truth? So, thank you guys once again. Um, solo post. I don't know if you're listening or watching, but I didn't see a comment on that third video. Are you okay? Um, Hit us up, man. I want to make sure everything's okay at home. Yeah. I still hate Hawaiian clothing if you want to talk about it. Let's chop it up. Yeah, we'll phone you in as a guest. Discord me. Yo, and honestly, I've had a ton of people say they want to come in as guests already. Okay, so well, they need to pass a background check, and I need to get to know them first. Okay, one of them is Ryan. I need a background check, and I need <laughs> to get to know him first. No, I don't, I don't trust him either. You um, need to pass a drug test, and you need to pass a background check. Oh, these people are not going to pass drug tests. Stop, stop and frisk. <laughs> You need to check in your bags at the door. Let's try and get, since we have a week, let's well, we try and to, get... We need to plan it. Plan that. Well, let's, Well, I mean, Ryan's obviously the first one to go to because he's got... The most expendable free time. Yeah. But... So let's start there and then just say we had a guest. Let's just start bringing guests on if they want to be on. Cool. <clears throat> well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please... I, I, please like and subscribe. Please actually, I have no shame watch the videos Share. now because they're going to be a lot higher quality if you saw the first one and you saw this one um, you're going to shit bricks and piss yeah, your pants it's going to look 100% while moaning better while and calling me daddy it's going to look a lot better um, so please watch them now um, yeah just um, anything else gang shit gang shit two dudes drinking beer <laughs>